Hello, Yolanda. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. I had dolor. Ah, uh, you have you have a headache. Headache. You have a headache. Entonces diría, I have a headache. I have a headache. Say it. I have a headache. I have a headache. Headache. Okay. okay. I recommend you to take a, an aspirin or acetaminophen. Okay. Good. Hey, Sergio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Sergio. Good evening, everyone. Jacqueline. Good evening. Hello, Jacqueline. Party. <laughs> hey. Oh, ready. Ready. Oh, ready. Okay, hello, uh, Maria Fernanda. Okay. Okay, your message is Receive, so don't worry, okay? We're gonna start. We're gonna start with something. Okay, let's let's start with something. Um do you know ordinal numbers? Do you know the ordinal numbers? First, second, yes. third, third, third okay. fourth, and fifth, <laughs> fifth. All right, good. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to ask you when is your birthday? The question is this one, okay? Sergio conteste. When is your birthday? <laughs> I'm gonna give you the ways, there are three ways to answer this question. You can answer it's in June. Okay, like this, is in June. No specific date. Or it's on uh, June 3rd. We have two ways. And the other way is, um, it's on June the third, the thirty. Oh, let me see. 
Okay, you see? Are you seeing the checking the what I mean the chat? Yes. Now I can ask you when is your birthday? Think. Think and write an answer. I'm going to ask you one by one. Ready? Sergio, when is your birthday? My birthday is January 17th. Okay. On January 17th. 17th. On, on, on January 17th. Okay. Thank you. When is okay. your when is your birthday, Jacqueline? My birthday is on August 7th. August 7th. Sí. All right, thank you. Karen, when is your birthday? It's uh, 26th of July. Okay, it's on the 26th of July. Okay, thank you. When is your birthday, Flor? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. My birthday is in two March. Two March. Okay. Ya vio el chat. Um, no. Ah, okay. Open the chat. Ya regreso. Oh, yeah. Open Voy the entrar. chat. Open the chat, and I'll come back. Okay. Diana, when is your birthday? My birthday is on. June 13th. 13th. Thank you. Thank you. Flor, yeah. when is your birthday? Teacher, yo acabo de entrar y no tengo nada en el chat. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Sorry. What can I do? Okay, and now? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Kimberly, when is your birthday? No, okay. No, we have no Kimberly. Kimberly is not here. Carla, when is your birthday? Yes, 
Thursday is 23 April. Ok, ok. Chequen el chat y vean cómo se responde. Take a, take a look. Um, um, this is just a, a warm up, ok, to, to start the class, ok. These are things you already, you, you already know, ok. If you don't know, study the, the, the way how to respond when people ask you when is your great birthday, ok. So, when someone asks me when is my birthday, I'm going to say is in June, only the month. I can say only the month. Or I can say is on June 3rd. Or I can say is on the 3rd of June. Three ways to say your birthday. Okay? This is just to to start the Peter. class. Okay. Yes. And this is, this, this is in May. It is in May. It's in it's in May. It is in May. Okay. Pero no da la fecha, ¿verdad? You want to give the date is another. It's different. Then it's different. Okay, let's start. We have a lot of things to do, okay? Let's continue. All right, everybody, let's continue with the core values. Remember the core values of the companies, innovation, responsibility, punctuality, and others. So we're gonna include the five values. You're gonna prepare a two minute presentation about the impact of the core values of your company on the personal. Include at least five values. Use example to show how people in your company apply those values. Hijo, and como, how I'm gonna do this? Remember the previous activity? This is how you're going to create your presentation. For example, I apply punctuality when I get to my job on time. Yeah. When I offer help to a customer, I demonstrate just that they, you say kindness and others say, um, what do you say? I don't remember, but understand the activity. Okay, so at least five values like with five sentences, understand? No, yes or no? Hello, yep. So you're going to create like five sentences and you're going to present this, okay? But you're going to work in groups to work on the presentation. When you have the presentation, you're going to share your presentation with the class, with the class, okay? And you're going to choose a representative of your group. Comprende mucho o comprende poquito? Poquitito. Poquito, little. <laughs> Ok, me van, a me van a hacer una presentación. A short presentation. About the values of your Be company. Sure. Yes. About, about. The values. Uh, values. Ok, about me or about the company. About the company. The values, the values things uh, yesterday. Yeah. 
this is an example. You can you can take examples from here. Teacher, pero lo quiere en texto, una presentación. Um, maybe just one page, yes, and then you share with share with with the with the class. You can uh, create the name of the company. One company, X company. Just give a name of the company. Or the company that you work for. Five sentences will, will be okay. Understand? Yes. Okay, let's go and let's work. I'm going to give you six minutes to work. If you need more, give me a message. Send me a message. Teacher, take, uh, hello. take a picture. Take a picture. Oh, yeah. Okay. Please. Yeah, I'm going to take it. I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp.
so much fun. Do you need more time? Students, do you need more time? Do you need more time? Do you need more time?
Okay. I guess we're ready. So let's start. You can share the the screen if you want. Okay, group number one, please. <clears throat> In group number one, we have Flor de Maria, Francisco, Jenny, and Yolanda. Teacher, nosotros hicimos uno cada uno. Oh, okay. No sé si las digo las cinco por todo el grupo. It's okay. It's okay for me. It's okay. Number one, the company promote responsibility through efficiency in the workplace. Okay. Number two, when a colleague, co colega, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Col colleague. Col Colleague. 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 Uh -huh. Colleague. do a job. I should my empathy be teaching how to do it. Number three. My company always deliver quality work to airline. Number four. It is my responsibility to keep the office clean. And number five, my company always respect payment days. Excellent. Very good job. I like it. Nice. Okay, now we have number two. We have Herson, Jacqueline, Sergio, and Vanessa. Teacher. Hello. Um, not three, three values. Okay. Uh, Atlantida Bank. Uh, number one. Lo hicimos un poco distinto, pero ahí vamos a, ahí vamos a ir. Okay. Go, we go. offer timely service. Efficiency is efficiency. Uh, number two, we focus on serving you impeccably. Excellence. Excellence. We seek to help, help you with your financial needs. Solida solidarity. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, group number two. Now, number three. We have Adriana, Diana, Kimberly, and Walter. Okay, nosotros hicimos tres. Eh, hola, hola. Hola. Hello, continue, please. Okay. Uno es, we are efficient in our daily tax. Mm -hmm. el, seg el segundo, ahorita. The second one. Hoy. Uh, we are always innovation to service you better. All right. Y el otro, in our company, we always work responsibility. All right. Estamos ahí. Thank you, thank you. Okay. But please try to speak more English, okay? Now group number four.
Giancarlo, Karen, Carla, Ayeli, and Merari. Hi, teacher. Um, decimos individual, teacher. Este, yo le voy a decir algunas y Carla que le diga las otras. Good, good, good. Continue. Okay. Continue. Okay. Um, when I receive the children, I do it with kindness. Yes. Um, when I work with my team, I do it by kindness. With kindness, uh huh. Yes. When I work, I I do it responsibly. Responsibility. Okay. Hey, Carla, le va a decir la otra. Okay, Carla is next. Okay. When I work with my college, I say it. Continue, colleagues. College, college, I do it responsibility. When I deliver work on time, I show efficiency. When I welcome passion, I walk kindness. Kindness. And kindness. Yes. And I am punctually at work when I arrive or arrive. Arrive. Solamente. On time. All right. Thank you, everybody. Applause for everybody. You have done a great job, okay? You're making a big effort. Now it's time to call the attendance. I'm gonna call the attendance. There you are. Oh. Okay. Let me call Adriana Lisset Chavez. Oh, okay, thank you. Diana Elizabeth Ramirez. Thank you. Flor de Maria Valladares. Present teacher. Hello. Yes. Okay. Eh, Francisco Javier Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Gerson Osvaldo Deras. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo. Present. Thank you. Yeah, energy. Juan Carlos Quevedo. Present teacher. Thank you, Giancarlo. Karen Gemina Membreño. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Nayeli Machado. Present. Thank you. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda. Present. Thank you. María Fernanda Morán. Present. Thank you. Merari Andrea Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Sergio David Leiva. Present. Thank you. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos. Present. Thank you. Walter Amilca Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Jenny Carolina Tobar. Present. Thank you. And Yolanda Perez de Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's go back to our class. All right, next slide. This is it. And we have another. Jacqueline, can you read this uh, information, please? This, le this uh, next lesson. Okay. Uh, describe, uh, I will be able to describe how my department real, relates to other in the organi organization. Yeah, continue. Uh, what, what is an organization chart? What are organization charts important for business? 
Are you familiar with the organization share of your company? Very good, very good. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you. Okay, we're going to talk about hierarchy. Hierarchy, you know, hierarchy is the, I mean, the, the president of the company, then the managers, supervisors. Got it? That is the, the organization chart. Yeah? President over here, managers, supervisors, employees, uh, drivers, and, you know, the security guard, janitors, all the organization, yeah, in a organization chart. Okay, now let's continue. And here on your right, you have an organization chart. You see this? This is an organization chart, but first we have a conversation over here, okay? Listen to your dear teacher. The conversation then practice with a compañero. I'm going to record that conversation. Hi, Roseanne. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great, our departments work together, but maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Got it? I, I made a mistake here, maintain maintenance okay maintenance that means mantenimiento all right any questions 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 pronunciation teacher shares a charge is cargo no ah uh, uh, wait wait where charge in charge yeah a cargo de okay yes in charge like under your responsibility. Yeah. Any other question? Uh, yes, sir. Hello. What do you say to Jim or um, mm. uh, to Jessica? Jessica. Yeah. Jessica. I, uh, I am. In la tercera. Okay, the third one. One, two, three. Great. Our three. departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in chief. charge, chief. chief. Like the boss. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. um, continue, teacher. All right. Are you ready to practice? Um, en la última palabra. La, sure. Word. This no, one. En sure. Este mismo párrafo, okay. Responsible uh, to him. To this one. him. You'll be responsible to him. To him. Yeah. Okay. Safari. All right. Any other? Listen to listen to listen to my beautiful voice.
Listen to the conversation. Are you okay? Are you ready to practice with your partners? Yes, he can. I'm there. Hey, that voice is like creepy. <laughs> what is the meaning of cheap? Boss. Jefe. Is more irregular. Irregular. Chief. Just like the boss. Boss. Uh, uh -huh. Quiero decir si es una forma menos, menos formal. No. 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 Okay. Okay. Let's go and practice with your partners. I'm going to give you three minutes and then you'll come back. Let's do it. Four minutes. Oh, yeah. Four minutes. What happened? Oh, yes. Thank you, JC. I forgot to say, hey, nice picture, JC. Excellent. Teacher, le di en el, lo de grupo, pero no me, no me metió el grupo. Ok, ya le ayudo. Pero no me aparece. Let me see. Aquí está. Mm. And now? Okay. Pero la voy a llevar acá. Okay. Maintenance.
Okay, I guess everybody here, how was the conversation? Yeah, everybody participated? Me. Okay. Everybody participated in the, in the conversation? Yeah. Todos participaron. In the room, yes, yes. teacher. Excellent, yes, excellent. Yes. Did you help your, your um, partners uh, to improve the pronunciation? We, we, yes. Okay, si se corrigen entre sí? Yes. Okay, yes, good. Yes. Listen the audio. Uh, excellent. Uh, oh yeah, my beautiful voice. I listen the audio. Uh -huh. oh, beautiful yeah. voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is an organizational chart. What we call in Spanish organigrama. Yeah. And here we have the floor manager, el jefe de planta. Yeah. This is a, a, a chart, I mean, like a small uh, organizational chart because they are the, in big companies, you have big organizational chart. This is just a, a sample, okay? Just a part. You have the floor manager and the floor manager uh he has under his responsibility the safety engineer and the maintenance chief of course the floor manager he is in charge of everybody in this floor but he has other people who help him to work with many other people, okay? Like this, the maintaining chief has personal under his responsibility. He has the maintenance personal. So these people is, is helping to uh, maintain the machines working or fixing the machines, repairing machines. And that is their work. Okay, then we have the safety engineer. Okay, under his responsibility, he has the supervisor. And the supervisor has under his responsibility, the machine operators, the assemblers, and the truck drivers. So this is what we call an organizational chart. What is in the Spanish our organizational chart? Organigrama. All right. And all the companies have one. In the school, they have one organizational chart. In the companies, in every place that there is personal or people working, they have an organizational chart. All right, now let's continue because you're going to work. Now, you're going to discuss the answer to the questions below, compare your answer with another pair, okay? So right now we're gonna work in teams and you're gonna work in teams and answer these questions. All the, all the answers are in the organizational chart. Understand? JC, can you take a can you take a shot, please? And send it to the WhatsApp group. Thank you. 
Thank you. Also, the other one, the organizational chart, this one. I'm going to zoom it. There you are. Thank you, Jay-Z. You're very kind. All right. Maybe we can work as a class here. Let me see. Uh, here. Who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plant? Floor manager? Excuse me? Uh, floor manager? Donor manager. Mm -hmm. um, no. No, 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 no. Safety and, and Jaime. Safety. 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 Yeah. Safety. And en Jaime. Engineer. 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 How you feel? Engineer. Like this. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Who is in charge of directing directing the maintenance personnel? Maintenance, My, chief. maintenance chief. All right. Maintenance chief. All right. Who is Roxana responsible to? This is in the conversation. This is my personal maintenance. Maintenance personal? Yes. Um, uh -huh. Floor manager. Floor manager. Okay. We don't know. All right. All right. Now, look at the organizational chart about who are the safety engineer and the maintaining chief responsible to. Floor manager. Floor manager. Okay. But number three, let's check number three. In is uh, no, no, <laughs> yes or no, yes, 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 no, 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 yes, 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 no, 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 okay, let me see. Let's check the conversation. Hi, Roxanne, welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica, I'm in the Jewish industrial safety. Thank you, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for the safety. Okay. So Jessica is, is the safety manager. I mean, engineer. Okay. The safety engineer. I'll see part of the maintenance. Uh, will be responsible to you. 
Oh, the maintenance department, Rhea. So she will be the maintenance chief. Okay, the great. Our department work together by the maintaining chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible. Oh, she will be part of the uh, maintenance personnel. Not the floor manager. Maintenance. Yeah, maintenance, ma ma maintenance personnel. This is the right one. Maintenance personnel. Yeah, so the first one is okay. Like this. Those are the correct answers. Got it? Okay, let's continue. I'm going to erase and continue with another activity. All right, today, I mean today, now right now we're going to uh, talk about how to use ing forms after prepositions and that is a grammar rule look at the questions in exercise three and complete the statement below use a verb exercise three what is exercise three this one So what is the rule? Use a verb plus what is missing there? Teacher, mm -hmm. after a verb? After a verb, ing, after a verb, ing. Use a verb plus ing. Yes. Yeah. After preposition. Ah, teacher, you're saying the preposition. What is the preposition here? Here we have a preposition of. For, for keeping, look, this is a preposition. For is a preposition. Of is a preposition, so directing. You see, this is, this is what the chart is saying. So it's per after preposition. Because you have a, okay, charge. charge responsible for keeping like for or of aquí está mire like for or of let me see this so we have after preposition like for this is from preposition or of in expression as be responsible for, 
be in charge of, be accountable for, committed to, dedicated to. Here, after these prepositions, you are going to use a verb ing. Understand? Después de una preposición, ing, verb ing. To say who you report to, just be responsible to or be accountable to. Both are, this have the same meaning. Responsable de, all right? It's the same meaning. There's only different words. To talk about your responsibilities, just be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for. This is when you have responsibilities. So those are my responsibilities. Yeah? To report every week. To uh, send a, a report every week. And when you are under the responsibility of other people, is be responsible um, responsible to the maintaining chief. I'm accountable to the manager floor. Okay. I'm under the responsibility of someone. And here, these are my responsibilities. Understand? Questions? Questions? No questions? Hello. Teacher, is, is, use the ENG is uh, responsibility uh -huh. to, talk, to, to talk about your responsibility, use be responsibility for uh, more <laughs> responsibility. No, lo que nos está diciendo es cómo usar el ING después de las preposiciones. Mm. Es una regla. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Ok. Like, I'm going to write an example over here. here. Look. You see here? Yes. I'm responsible of. Uh, of is a what? A preposition. And then what comes next? Their ing. I'm responsible of writing the weekly reports. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. What's your question? In, in this case, um uh bear, bear to be uh -huh. uh, is different or uh, uh, preposition yeah the verb be is like you are i can say this is be responsible ser responsable de but when you conjugate the verb be you use he is we are Okay, uh, I am, they are. That's why, look at my example. I'm responsible of. 
Got it? I can write you're responsible. But I think, como usted ve el B, el B no se va a quedar así. Verb B, you have to conjugate the verb. Tiene que conjugarlo. Understand? Mire acá. My, de my department is responsible. Is. No dice, my department be responsible. Teacher. Yeah. Hello. Ver to be is, 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 are, am. Am um and is. Ajá, uh -huh. y, y, y when. O was, when. Ah, no. that, is, that is past. That is the past of B. Ajá, uh -huh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, that is the past of B. Okay, so these are the examples you're responsible of. I can say uh, the, the, the manager is um, in charge. Is in charge of Keeping, say the safety. Look, the manager is okay. That's how we use ing after preposition. That is a, a grammar rule. Uh -huh. Can we continue? Okay. okay. Here we have here we have some questions below with the appropriate verb form. Then uh, it's a complete. Then read the information in Rex's organizational chart to answer the question. Check answer with a partner. Okay, let me see. Look at this chart. The general manager, auditor, quality control inspector, floor manager, financial department, computer department, sales department, safety engineer, maintenance chief, supervisor, machine operators, assemblers, and truck driver. Okay, so this is a the complete organizational chart. Okay, teacher, what are we going to do? Who is responsible for supervise the machine operators? Okay. For supervising? Who is yes. in charge of checking? checking? That way you're going you're going to work, okay? Work. What time is it? Okay, let's, let's do it. Let's work together. Okay, who is responsible for 
Supervising. Supervising. Oh, okay. Supervising the machine operator. Who is who's responsible to? Dancer, supervisor. The supervisor. Machine operators. Yes, supervisor. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Who is in charge? The quality of, of the products. Of checking. Aha, uh -huh. oh, checking. The quality of the products. Quality control inspector. Ah, the quality control inspector. Okay. All right. You got to continue with three, four, five, and six. Continue, please. Who is responsible for repairing the problem of the machines? Repairing, repairing. Okay, yeah. work, work. I'm going to give you two minutes and then we share in the class. Okay, work individually. No, I don't know. <sighs>
Okay. Now let's check together. Who's responsible for? Repairing. Repairing, thank you. Repairing. Repairing, repairing. The problem of the machines. Who? The maintenance. Mm -hmm. Who is maintenance it? Maintenance person. Maintenance person. Maintenance person. I'm going to write on the M. Personal. All right. Let's continue. Who is accountable for? Selling. Selling. Yes. Selling. The products. Who is it? Supervisor? No. Look at the chart. Look. The sales, sales, sales department. department. The sales department. Okay. Who is in charge of the assemblers? Of what? Assisting. Assisting. And assisting is giving help. The assembly, who is it? Machine operators. Who is in charge of assisting? Truck mm. driver. No. Sales department. No. Oh, is the assisting assembly? Truck driver. Machine operator. The machine operators and the assemblers. Supervisor. The supervisor. Okay, the last one. Who is accountable for? Managing. 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 Who is it? The big boss. General manager. The general yeah. manager. The general. The general manager. And that's it. Okay, may I change? Teacher. Hello. Teacher. Hello. The picture. The picture, oh, I'm sorry. I, I heard teacher, 
Teacher, teacher, can you hear me? Sorry. I, I didn't listen well. But JC, can you take the chat? Because my camera is very like opaque. My cell phone is a pajarito. Thank you, KZ. Yeah, clear. Perfect. Okay, let's continue. Now I want you to create a basic organizational chart about your company. Okay, but uh, too many, too many organizational chart is too much information. Work an organizational chart in group. Create one and take a picture or uh, share it with the class after, okay? And explain it. Understand the activity? Individually. No, in group. But Individually, uh -huh. um, it is better. In no, um, the um, ah. the company. Company, yeah. Uh -huh. What? No, work one company in a group. <laughs> one company for group. Got it. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. let's go. Um Thank you. 
Okay, now that everybody's here, let's start. Okay, let's start with group number four. Very small time. A small, a small yes. chart. Okay. Estaba muy inspirado diciendo demasiado. Oh, okay, okay. I'm waiting. We're waiting. Okay, group number three. Adriana, Diana, Kimberly, and Walter. What happened, group number four or number three? Bueno, nosotros hicimos la de donde trabaja Diana, pero no sé qué es. <laughs> Solo sé que aprenden como um, cosas electrónicas, creo. Uh -huh. No sé si está Diana. I'm listening. Decimos el organigrama. Lo queremos, lo queremos ver. Ah. We want to see it. You can do it. You have a problem with that. If you have a problem, you cannot share it in the uh, in the Zoom. In Zoom, can you share it in Zoom? Yes or no? Lick, lick, uh, how come it, a question. Uh -huh. uh, per, el organigrama lo vemos en, en presentation. Yeah. Oh, uh, Word, uh, PowerPoint, oh, no. on a piece of uh, paper, on, on a piece of no, paper. No, teacher, en el, en el cuaderno lo hicimos. No. Ah, okay, it's okay. No problem. Okay. Take a picture. Or put it in the camera. Okay, okay. Yeah, teacher. do it. <laughs> You can put it in front of the camera and explain. Hurry up. Oh, here we have a photo. Yes, I can see it. Thank you. This is Davies. Okay, now who's going to explain it? Sergio. Okay, Sergio. You see the picture. Yes. General manager. Uh -huh. um, luego financial manager and business manager. Uh -huh. Um, and business manager, um, brand manager, 
credit manager y financial advisors. Ok. Advisor. And finan and Advo financial advisors yes yes financial advisors good and financial manager a collection manager uh -huh. collection supervisor collectors and the collectors okay that's it thank you okay just be sure to use the the responsible for or accountable for ok that means responsable de ok use those words the general manager is accountable for the financial manager and the business manager ok got it okay. good okay. Thank, yes. thank you Sergio ok ok another one it's time. Oh, my goodness. No, nobody else. Okay, I'm going to call the attendance right now because the time is running. Time's running now. So maybe after the the, the attendance, okay? Adriana Lisette Chavez. Present. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Flor de Maria Valladares. Present. Thank you. Francisco Javier Quinteros. Present. Thank you. Gerson Osvaldo Deras. Se nos durmió. Oh, Ahí okay. estaba con nosotros en el room, teacher. Oyente. De oyente estaba Gerson. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Sí. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Quebel. Jaycee. Jaycee. Thank you, Jaycee. Karen Gemina. Membreño. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Nayeli Machado. Present. Thank you. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda. Present. Thank you. Uh, Maria Fernanda Morán. Present. Thank you. Merari Andrea Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Sergio David Leiva Pereira. Present. Thank you. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos. No, Vanessa. Vanessa, este... Está con nosotros, teacher, es que le surgió un inconveniente. Hijo. Pero está, solo que está en un momento. Okay. Sí, un momento, sí va. Ok. Yeah. Walter Amilca Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Jenny Carolina Tobar. Present. Thank you. And Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay, um, are you ready? Or we continue with another activity? Time, teacher. No, five, time. Minutes. five minutes. No, okay. seven, seven, six minutes. <laughs> six minutes. <laughs> oh, we have to be responsible too. I, I have to be responsible to my students. In the chat. In the chat. 
wait, 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 wait. And this does. So when is your birthday, Jenny? It, it is um, on April 25. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, please work on the ordinal numbers, okay? Teacher, Hello. my birthday is in April. In April. Yo le entendí que solo íbamos a decir el mes. No, yo, a decir no, el día no yo, yo no he dicho eso. Se podía decir de las tres formas. Yo le he dicho que hay tres maneras de decirlo. Pero ahí solo decía, y, y, y solo decía ah. el mes, y de ahí abajo otra vez solo el mes, pero no, no, no decía ni día ni no, nada. No, ah, pues no, pues no. No, 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 no. no. No, 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 no. No. Let's discuss that. Está, está bien, ok. But if you go to the chat, lo publiqué dos veces. Sí, sí, lo leí, teacher. Vaya, pero sí pero, lo entendí. No, pues no, no comprender. Tres maneras. You can say, is in May. Is on May 10th or is on the 10th of May? Okay. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Lo estoy yeah. viendo ahorita porque no sé quién lo subió, pero ahí no, no. Usted dice May, pero yo no veo que ahí diga May. No, yo estoy poniendo otro ejemplo. Ah, teacher. Yo puedo poner otros meses, otras fechas. Uh, todo el 365 días. Ok, teacher. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Do not a whole lot. Let's watch a video. Oh no, this is this is a lesson. This is not a video. Human resources, marketing research. Oh, this is an exercise. Please work on this exercise. Business English departments in a company. Human resources, marketing, research and development, IT information technology, maintenance. Sales, customer service, finance, dispatch department, and production department. So those are departments in a company. All right, responsible to. Who's responsible for taking care of court customer needs? Okay, these links are in the book. ¿Verdad? So, please work on this. This exercise is, is a very good exercise. Who's responsible for the delivery of orders? You come back here. And you find A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Understand? Yes. Where is that? Yes, teacher. In the book. Here, vocabulary exercise to name the different departments and units of the organization. Page 13. Yeah. 
video to practice creating an organization chart. Let's check this one. This is different. Uh -huh, this is a video. Maybe two or three minutes and then we're finished. 30 seconds. Oh, four minutes. Listen. No, listen. Yourself. And then put the different boxes for the different departments or activities in your business. I know you don't all think of yourselves as having uh, multiple different departments right now, but really you've got somebody that's responsible for the sales function. That might be you or someone else. Somebody who's responsible for marketing, administration. So you should have a box for each of these departments. Also for bookkeeping and finance and client service. I'll leave this, this uh, list up here as well as human resources. And if you've got a manufacturing business, then you somebody's in charge of production. If you've got a service business, someone's in charge of service delivery. And if you own a retail store, uh, then who's, who's uh, responsible for the day-to-day -day store management? So let's take five minutes, draw out our organizational chart, one box for each of these functions. And if you've got other functions within your business, write those out as well. Now, as you, if you, I'm sure you've all noticed, we're being videotaped today. So those of you that are watching on the videotape, if you want to pause to do that, uh, we'll be back in, in a few seconds here. Okay, everybody about done with that? Well, good. So, the next part of the exercise is we're going to think about who's in charge of each of these departments or activities within your business. So, very quickly, what I'd like you to do is for each box, write down the person in your business, and I know that for many cases it'll be you, that's ultimately responsible for this department. Who's in charge of sales? who's in charge of human resources, who's in charge of each one of these individual boxes. So take two minutes to write that all down. Again, if you're watching on the video, pause it, and we'll be back in a moment. Okay, are we all done with that? Excellent. So now, quick show of hands. How many people have their own name in the CEO box, but in not in any other boxes? Not a single one of you, okay? How many people, at the other end of the extreme, have your name and CEO and also your name in every single box. We've got about three people. All right. Excellent. Good. And how many people have your name, your own name here and your name in most of the other boxes? Okay. All right. So, you know, but that's not surprising, right? You, you run small businesses. You've got to wear a lot of different hats. You've got to be jack of multiple trades. But one thing that we're going to talk about here consistently as we sit down and talk one on one with you and as you do your business planning, uh, for the next quarter going forward is how do we get you to focus more on the big CEO kinds of behaviors, the strategic thinking that's going to really drive your business. We've got to get you out of some of these boxes. You know, there's a saying in the corporate world that you shouldn't dress for the job you have right now. You should dress for the job you want to have in five years. I'm going to suggest that there's a parallel for your organizational chart. You shouldn't have an organizational chart for the business at the size that you've got right now you should have an organizational chart for the business as you want it to look in five years. So put yourself in the hat of what are revenues, what should they look like in five years? How big do you want this business to be in five years? You can't get there if you've got your name in all these different boxes. So we're going to have to work on ways that you can outsource some of these things, take them off of your plate, get them in the hands of some people that can do them as well as you or even better than you in many cases so that you can focus on the really highest value activities. That'll be a key focus that we'll be talking about later today. So over the next 90 days, if there's one goal that you should definitely set for yourself, it's figure out which one of these boxes, I'll just pick one box, and I've got to get that off my plate and on somebody else's plate before we meet again here in 90 days.
I know your your tire. The the video was like how, when you have to create a organizational chart, but that that activity you have to be like you know very attentive and fast. Okay, that's it for now. See you tomorrow. Okay, good night and take care. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. See you Good tomorrow. Night. See you. Bye. Be Bye. happy. Bye. Bye. See you. You are sleeping.